Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 is here, and so are the patch notes. What's up, everybody? Matt, aka The Constant here, and you guys heard it right. Building has been disabled in Fortnite. This is a very wild thought, and it's making for a very interesting start to the season. We're going to talk about what Moses is going to take place in. We're going to go over all the patch notes. If you guys are excited for Chapter 3 Season 2, please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Because we're on the road to 6,000 subscribers, your help is greatly appreciated. Big thank you to everyone showing support on the channel you guys are all amazing now without further ado we have a lot of patch notes to get through now let's bring up the official patch notes by fortnite themselves what's new in fortnite battle royale chapter 3 season 2 resistance and then we got ourselves the season trailer right there it's definitely an awesome trailer if you haven't watched it yet definitely go watch it after this video and right after that we have our new shield the overshield building has been wiped out to help maintain cover you now have an overshield on top of your shield and health the overshield is your first line of defense before your shield and your health take a hit. It's your overshield that will crack. Your overshield will still recover if it goes all the way down to zero. All right, I jumped in game because I want to show you how the overshield works. You can see it in the bottom left side by my HP and it just recharged. It's going to start charging right when you jump out of the battle bus. You get 50 shield on your overshield and if it gets cracked like so, hit me IO guard. Oh my goodness, hit me. If your overshield gets cracked like so. Pickaxe me. Pickaxe me, Lexa. Pickaxe me. Okay, Lexa just did some damage to me. You can see 30 went down and then it's starting to recharge right now. So it only takes a couple seconds for your overshield to start recharging. So that is how the overshield will work. But what about our movement? So movement upgrades. The battle has changed with new ways to bring the fight. Sprinting, run at the new faster default movement speed. A faster default movement speed means a faster sprint as well. This sprint is so fast that it'll mean pocketing whatever you're holding. Of course, sprinting super fast can't be maintained forever, so a new sprint meter will tell you how much longer you have to move at that pace. And this is how it works. You can see this is regular sprinting right here, but then if I hit my key to sprint, I am zooming. You can see the bar above my shield indicating how much sprint I have left. And that will also recharge like so. Your sprint might automatically be set to P like myself. You might want to go into the settings and change that. Moving on to mantling. Gaining the high ground has always been a key to winning a battle. Unfortunately, where your feet fail, your hands will now help you out. If a surface is just a little too high for your jump or a platform just a little too far for your landing, your hands will come into play and pull you up. And here is how that is going to work, just like so. You don't have to be running and jumping. You can just go up to a ledge like so, and then double click your jump and you'll grab the ledge. And then for our last point right here, shoulder bashing. Speaking of sprinting, sprint at doors to bash them open with your shoulder. It's probably not very polite, but at least you look cool doing it. You can also slide into doors to open them now as well. So if you look at this door right here and I run at the door and I sprint, boom, we open it with the shoulder. And same thing goes for sliding like like so. Moving on with the patch notes, bars to turn the tide. Bar funding returns. As the season progresses, you'll have new opportunities to help direct the resistance. Chip in bars towards pro-resistant devices, as well as use bars to vote for which items to unvault. That brings us to turret determination. A different kind of vote is live right now. Instead of an item unvault vote, it's a turret device vote. Different pro-resistant sites need help deciding whether to install a light turret or a heavy turret. With the former, get the classic mounted turret experience with the slower but beefier ladder do heavy damage to vehicles the first site that needs help is sanctuary time for the armored battle bus there's another way that you can contribute with bars right away funding the armored battle bus the armored battle bus is a battle bus that's ready for battle the intimidating metallic machine has just about all the fixings chonker tires a cow catcher for extra ramming power and a light and heavy turret it's not all business with this vehicle though if you turn the radio on it immediately Immediately becomes a party bus once 100 funded find an armored battle bus in resistance occupied pois that sounds absolutely crazy and this battle bus looks like it could do massive damage now for one of the most important talking points of a new season the weapon starting with the resistance equipment you currently have a wide slate of weapons to work with here's what's at your disposal these are our new weapons the combat smg like the combat assault rifle and combat pistol the combat smg packs a heavy punch tame its recoil to get the most out of its exceptional power all right here we are in game with our combat smg and this is what it's going to look like when you fire it without aiming in and this is what it looks like when you aim down sight 
You can see the recoil without me trying to control it is pretty insane. And this is the Stinger SMG recoil. And just for reference, these are the stats of the combat SMG versus the stats of the Stinger SMG. Moving on to our next new weapon, however, the Striker Burst Rifle. The Striker Burst Rifle is a burst rifle with a customized sight. Strike with this two-shot semi-automatic weapon as you aim with the scope. And I happen to have one right here. This is the same thing as our last burst assault rifle. However, when you aim down sight, you get this reticle. This is how it shoots without the scope versus with the scope. And then we got ourselves a list of unvaulted weapons, starting with the thermal scoped assault rifle, the drum shotgun, the revolver, the remote explosives, the thermal scoped revolver, the storm scout sniper rifle, and though not a weapon per se, shockwave grenades. On top of that, we have a list of the chapter three returners, the ranger assault rifle, the striker pump shotgun, the auto shotgun, sidearm pistol, the stinger SMG, the hunter bolt action sniper, the shadow tracker, the marksman six shooter, the dub and the boom sniper rifle. This unfortunately means that the MK7 assault rifle has been vaulted. Do you like that change or not? At least at this time where building is not a thing in pub matches, the MK7 being vaulted is probably a good thing. Speaking of, even though there's a note about this later in these patch notes, the pubs are the only ones that are affected by the no build change. In Arena, in Team Rumble, in Competitive, and also on Creative Islands, you should still be able to build. On top of that, this no building rule will not last super long. It's going to be about a week to nine days that we won't be able to build in pubs. We're not done with the patch notes just yet. We have Land and Sky, POI possession the resistance in the io are locked in head-to-head -head disputes to claim the island's pois you can tell if a poi is occupied by the io if you see an io blimp overhead titans io guards and siege cannons while a poi occupied by the resistance may feature an armored battle bus sentry guards and turrets more on the io blimps right here the io having a bird's eye view of the island may seem intimidating but you can still access their blimps from the ground the io blimps are attached to the ground via zip lines so zip up to the io blimp and claim its loot for yourself how do you get back down either use a zip line or use the draft of a fan to begin gliding or launch yourself with a siege cannon if you take a look at the map you can see what appears to be borders this big red blotch in the middle is io occupied area the five outside blue areas are currently the seven occupied areas as the season goes on we'll no doubt see changes as to who occupies what areas and pois you can also see a bunch of the io blimps scattered around the map in all the areas that they occupy io machinery use the io's artillery against them the io titan tanks what's one way to barrel through obstacles the answer is an io titan tank but a titan's good for more than just strong arming fire the titan's cannons while you drive and if you want to be even more formidable have a teammate control its machine gun turrets io titan tanks have a massive amount of health but their treads can be destroyed if they take enough damage if this happens fix them up by hand or with a repair torch the titan's a tough battle tested machine so what do you do if you're up against one deal enough damage to the engine located on the rear to temporarily overheat its systems this is a prime opportunity to take on the treads big tips by fortnite siege cannons need to get somewhere fast but the pass too perilous on foot get in the seat of a siege cannon and launch yourself far forward or launch your teammates first then yourself mid-air you'll be given the option to deploy your glider but you won't take fall damage if you don't deploy it you can still have fun with a cannon even if you don't have travel plans in addition to using them as a transportation device keep your opponents at bay by firing projectiles in addition to blimps and cannons we now have a cow catcher chonkers off-road tires have been used to make cars off-road since chapter 2 season 6 but this fight against Against the IO calls for more modification. Available now, throw a cow catcher on your joyride vehicle to boost its ramming power. Blockades and other vehicles beware. Throw a cow catcher and chonkers on the same vehicle for the ultimate expedition. We got some dangerous vehicles this season and we got the repair torch as well, a healing item for your vehicles. Whether your mud flap's been subject to explosives, your motorboat's been running too long on land, or your titan's been targeted at the treads, fix it up with a repair torch. Repair torch torches restore the health of vehicles and if they run out of fuel to ignite fill them back up at a gas pump we also will be able to reprogram the omni sword pickaxe on page one of the battle pass you'll find the customizable omni sword pickaxe i'll talk about that later in the battle pass video but basically we're going to collect some omni chips in the omni sword quests happening for the next eight weeks this pickaxe looks awesome we're about to hit the last page of the patch notes some pretty important points coming up if you guys made it all the way till the end of this video please leave a like and consider subscribing if you're 
you're not already subscribed. Also, if you would love to support me in an even bigger way, you guys can use code the constant, all one word, in the Fortnite item shop. It's a big help when you're buying the battle pass. Thank you so much for everyone using my code. But here it is, the question we've been asking ourselves all along. Crowning achievement. A new season means new opportunities to flex your skill. Crowned victory royales displayed in the crowning achievement emote have been reset with chapter three, season two. Share your thoughts down below. Are you happy they reset the crowning achievement emote or do you wish you still had your crown wins from last season? Balance changes, improvement to first shot accuracy mechanics. Weapons with first shot accuracy, such as the Ranger Assault Rifle, will now reach that state more smoothly, resulting in more near perfect spread accuracy moments. That's kind of big and I can't wait to see that in game and also competitive notes at the end here. Remote explosives and shockwave grenades are not included in competitive playlists. Item unvault voting will not take place in competitive playlists and storm surge damage intervals have been increased from five seconds to 10 seconds. And then at the end, the big point here is building is unaffected in competitive slash arena playlists, as well as in team rumble and creative islands. In this video, I know some people are gonna love this no building change. The game feels fresh, like a totally new game. And some people are gonna ultimately despise this change because building is a part of Fortnite. Either way though, it's no big deal. It's only gonna last for about a week. And if you do wanna still build just jump into arena and play some arena until then that's about it for the video let me know all your thoughts about chapter 3 season 2 down below i'll be putting out my battle pass review video soon after this video goes live thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one